very first thing he promised me was, it's going to be hard. And he's lived up to that. <laughs> he expects us to be our best, whatever that may be. He knows our standards and just wants you to push to be the best you can be. He teaches you right or wrong on and off the field. Going out, I'll be well prepared as a, being a father or you know, a football player or whatever I do in life. Oh, yeah. Coach, uh, he's a great guy. I mean, he pushes you when he needs to push you. He does what he's supposed to do to get us where we need to be. He's the main reason why I did come to Rutgers. I felt like I'll have a father away from home. I was under my stepdad, you know, under his command for four years. He's taught me everything I know as far as football goes. And when I felt like Coach Shiano was a very similar man as far as what he believed in and, and how he would coach a program. Think about it. When we get to this drill, talk about it to each other. You're going to do this drill this summer. He's definitely like a father figure to us because, you know, he, he stays on top of us. He doesn't let us slack off one bit. You know, he's there for us when we need him, and he's always here for us if we need to talk to anybody, and he's, he's definitely a great person to have in our lives. He breaks your habits. We all have bad habits. And we bring them here. To wherever you go, you bring them. I jump, Manny, I jump. And he teaches you better good habits. The strongest thing that coach ever told me was just to let my pride go. Because I, I really didn't understand what it meant at first, was just, just being prideful coming out of high school. Then we told me, he said, let your pride go. And he started talking to me, understanding. And while I was in there, I was like scolding and was kind of mad. And I went home and I thought about it. And I understood exactly what he said. Then when I sat down, I really talked to him, looked inside his eyes, and I seen that he's a man that I could trust. You know, when you're down, he'll pick you up. When you're up too high, he'll put you back down where you need to be. And you know, if you miss anything, he'll get you. You had him covered and you peaked for help. Just deny your man the ball. And you gotta just stay focused and, and, and keep your eyes on him and can't miss a word he says, because if you do, he'll he'll catch you, he'll catch you quick. He's involved. I know a lot of head coaches aren't there involved, but he's in there. Defense is his baby, so <laughs> he's a great defensive mind, and I think that that helps everybody out. Freshman year, when I got moved from, from defense to offense, I was struggling with it a lot. And Coach said, Desmond, work hard, and I promise you great things will happen in your future. And I know from then on, I was like, you know what, Des, let's go. And I've been playing well since then. What surprised me the most about Coach Shiano was how real he was, how straightforward he was, and the connection that I'm, I'm able to, to have with him as a relationship on and off the field. The most important thing that he's promised me was that I'm going to leave here being a better man. We have this gift, this game of football, and they've been gifted to be able to play it. But what they learn through this game is going to prepare them to be a great husband, to be a great father, to handle adversity, to see him grow as people, and then to see him come back. Special stuff.